Earlier this week, they set the front row for Sunday's Daytona 500, and tomorrow they set the rest of the field. Denny Hamlin is the defending champ, but it's truly anybody's race. Over 500 miles, you have to first avoid traffic, then you have to manage fuel and tires and maybe get some help from your friends along the way. As Jamal St. Cyr reports, there's a lot that goes into a winning formula at Daytona. The Daytona 500 is one of the biggest races of the NASCAR season, but it's also one of the most difficult. Every driver wants to finish their day right here in Victory Lane, but in order for them to get here, they all agree on one thing. It'll take just a little bit of luck. It's like a lottery. I mean, you just have so little control over what's happening. You're, you're so you're having to rely so much on somebody else to position yourself where you need to be. And if that doesn't work out, then I mean, there's literally nothing you can do. So it's all about positioning and some luck. Unpredictability. You never really know what's going to happen to you. You can get you can get wiped out and have nothing to do with it. Um, it's just part of it. So uh, I've been to I've been at plenty of these to where I'm just riding around in tenth and the uh, third and fourth wreck and you just get plowed into it just nothing you can do so uh, that's that's the hardest part about it you know and the most frustrating part about these races is uh, if you cause a wreck then you know it's your fault but you can get caught up in someone else's mess that just kind of <laughs> upsets you it but. takes a a lot of luck to win um the daytona 500 i feel like um just to finish it really takes takes a mass amount of luck just uh avoiding the wrecks and things like that it's a, it's a chess match physically it's not a very demanding race. Mentally, it's the most demanding race we go to. Not messing up. I mean, it, it's a long race, a uh, lot of opportunities to do some dumb stuff and try not to do it early. Keep yourself in the, in the mix throughout the whole race. We'll have to wait and see who earns their spot here in Victory Lane. For now, here in Daytona, I'm Jamal St. here for Channel 4, the local station.